Welcome to another tour reviews and today I'm here with another skincare review. Um, today I have, this is from Ren uh, Clean Beauty, Clean Skincare I should say. Uh, this is their brand new mattifying face sunscreen. Uh, uh, <laughs> their clean screen mineral SPF 30, not mattifying, that's the claims right there. Way to go Ashley. Anyway, I've been trying this out. I wear face sunscreen every single day. Um, it's something that I never miss out on because if I have, if you have rosacea or even if you don't, always wear sunscreen, especially on your delicate face skin that's around all the environmental elements and is always, you know, at odds with the world. Just put it on. It's good for you. It really is. For me though, I need it. Like otherwise, y'all, I talk to y'all about this. Anyway, so this company is UK based. They do have a website in the US. Um, their products are amazing it's clean skincare but it works um and they're the products are made to be like aesthetically pleasing the packaging is always nice they're moving to zero waste in 2020 so this um the tube is 50 percent recycled plastic the cap is 100 percent recycled plastic so big applause for them um so about the sunscreen though it is it does say it's mattifying it is a face sunscreen and it is broad spectrum. It is an SPF 30. This is a mineral sunscreen or physical sunscreen as opposed to a chemical sunscreen. Um, if you don't know the difference, there are chemical sunscreens that use ingredients that uh, actually just, I don't know exactly how they work to be honest. I'm just gonna be honest. But a phys I can tell you this, a physical or mineral sunscreen lays on your skin and actually ref pushes the light away. Whereas the other one I think just I don't know how it works, but it's a chemical. I think those are more dangerous. Like they sometimes can include ingredients that are not good. Anyway, this has 20% zinc oxide that's naturally derived um, as its main ingredient. You get 1.7 ounces in here and it retails for, I think it is $36. I will link down below to my full review. I reviewed this. They did send this to, to me um, for review. So I'm, you know, telling you that. All right, so they're saying on the website, it's quick absorbing, it's mattifying, it's clean and broad spectrum protection. What more could you want in a sunscreen? Our silicone free, clean screen mineral SPF 30 goes beyond ordinary sun protection to reduce shine and mattify on contact while protecting you against the aging effects of sun damage. So obviously this is something that people with oily skin are gonna be interested in. Um, here is, I do have something, I should probably put it. It has a very like, what you'd imagine a sunscreen to look like. I'm gonna put it on my other hand because it has something on this one. I just can't. All right. Um, it has not a sunscreen smell, which I love. I don't really like the smell of sunscreen. So there it is. And then you rub it in. And it's just nice. Like it's a really nice sunscreen. Um, there it is. We'll go over the ingredients too. And I, um, it does have like a very light, I wanna say just a clean smell. Most of their products have this really pretty, I have like some Holy Grail products, like one of their, I forget what it's called. It smells really good and it's an exfoliant and that one's really good. And that they have this global day cream that I just, I'll, I can't live without that. Like it's one of the things I need to have. And they're, because their products work, like they really work and they're good for the environment and they're good for your body. They don't include anything that's like even remotely bad. All right, so that's how it like dries down onto your skin. It's very pretty um, and, and you don't even know it's there. It's not tacky. Um, all right, let's look at the ingredients. So let's also, the and the directions, apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least every two hours, use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. Uh, spending time in the sun increases, oh, these are just, it's telling you. Limit time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wear long sleeve shirts, pants, hats, and sunglasses, and don't use the sun kids under six months. So there's that. All right, so the active ingredient in here is the zinc oxide. Uh, and that's what actually provides you the sunscreen. That is where the, the mineral, because the mineral sunscreen uses minerals, mineral der derived, or you know what I mean, um, to help reduce the, you know, your exposure to the sun. And then they have inactive ingredients. Um, so we'll just start from the top. Water, caprylic, capric, triglyceride, aloe leaf juice, glycerin, capril, caprylate, caprate, propanediol, 
a lot of these I didn't know what they were I had to look them up and I did go through my whole review like the top 13 ingredients I didn't do all of them because it was just there was so much a lot of them are alcohols that help the suspension um so like you when you make a product you're using zinc oxide that could be like probably a liquid right and then you have to well how are we going to make this into they have to use all these other things to make an actual lotion you see what i'm saying all right well, uh, arachidol alcohol, satiral alcohol, cocoa glucoside, Oriza sativa starch, which is actually a uh, rice bran starch. I looked this up on the, their website. That is what gives it the mattifying properties. There's also passion fruit extract that helps protect against free radicals, so any environmental contaminants and whatnot. And the um, zinc oxide is non-nano naturally derived, um, and it protects against UVA and UVB. So back to the list, Pongamia glabra seed oil, microcrystalline cellulose, behenol alcohol, phenoxyethanol, that's the preservative that was in the other one that appears a little bit, um, I just did a review. <laughs> it was in another product, it came at the end of the list. Here it comes a little higher in the list. Um, Arachidol glucoside, isoteric acid, lecithin, polyglycerol 3, polyurinchinolinate, I can't pronounce that word, passiflora edulis fruit extract, ethyl hex hexyl glycerin, that's also preservative, glycerol oleate, vicinium or cranberry seed oil, xanthan gum, cellulose gum, sodium chloride, uh, hypophe, rhamnoids oil, I know this is very exciting to hear me rattle off lists of ingredients, sodium chloride, uh, Citrullus, oh, mandarin arch, peel oil, anthemus nobilis flower oil. So there's lots of flower oils. Uh, cinnamon oil, wood oil, pelargonium grivinolis flower oil, glucose perf perfume or fragrance. So there is a little bit of fragrance in here. Helianthus or sunflower seed oil, tocopherol, uh, rosemary leaf extract, hydro hydrogenated palm glycerides, glyceride citrate, citric acid, sodium hydroxide, Citronella, oh, this is like citronella. Geraniol, limonene, limonene, and lin linalool. All right, so the fragrance is 100% natural. So it's not like they're adding a chemical. It's probably some sort of a, uh, you know, an essential oil or something like that. I do think this is really nice. It does have a nine month shelf life. However, it does, if you didn't open it, it you would have it until 2021. Um, all their products are vegan and cruelty free, if that's something that matters to you. Uh, and it does tell you on here about the recycled plastic and whatnot. Dermatologist tested and approved. Uh, Red never tests on animals. And that is it. Um, so if you're in the market for a facial sunscreen, this is a really nice one, particularly if you want it to not look greasy. You don't want that extra shine or whatever. Um, I think it's a really pretty, you can see, I think it's a very nice sunscreen if pretty is not the right word for a sunscreen, but it's a good one. Anyway, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I will link to Ren down below. I will also link to, that's not an affiliate link, by the way. I'm not, a, I'm not affiliated with them. Um, they did send this for a review, but that's it. Um, and I will also link to my full review as always. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.